Now to Johnson County, where the lines for at least one polling place were no problem compared to some other central Indiana counties. Our Eyewitness News reporter Naomi Peskovitz was there and shows us what she found. Little to no line at Jonathan Bird's cafeteria in Greenwood. Super easy, very short, one person in front of us. Uh, this election, I thought, well, it's going to be a mob on election day, so since the polls are open early, I might as well come and vote early. They've averaged between 1,500 and 2,000 early voters each day. Last weekend, they had a line wrapping around the building, so they made changes to speed things along. What we did is add an additional clerk from each party and an additional judge from each party. So that just, you know, double volume to be able to get them through. They also added more machines. Johnson County has the benefit of satellite early polling places like this one, so voters can spread out, easing up on election staff. I've been working elections for about 30 years now, and it, it's really, there's a good excitement in the air. So how long does it take to vote early? One elections technician tells us once you get here to the front of the line, it takes about a minute to register with the clerks. Then they estimate about four to five minutes with the machine. So after about six minutes, you get your sticker and you're done. Folks here happy to vote and leave the negativity behind. It's a hard election because uh, I really don't like either candidate, but I just had a vote for the one I thought might do a little bit, maybe change things. It's just been ongoing, and it's, it's been pretty dirty, so we're, we're ready for it to be over. In Greenwood, Naomi Peskovitz, Channel 13 Eyewitness uh, News. The is the only you still have one more chance to vote early in Johnson County. Polls at the Johnson County Courthouse will be open on Monday, but only from 8.30 until noon.